All right, so in our next one, we start dipping into topics um, that relate to Einstein's relativity. So time dilation, length, um, contraction, those types of things. And it's really sort of an interesting concept. Um, it seems far-fetched and like it can never be useful, but as it turns out, the GPS satellites and the apps on your phone actually build in a relativistic factor to make sure that they stay accurate. Um, so the biggest thing that we need to know is that typically if we have speeds that are high enough that relative, uh, relativistic factors matter, um, they're measured as a portion of the speed of light. So technically we can multiply this by three times to the eight and see what the quote real speed is, but it's most convenient this way. Um, also the fact that when we plug into formulas, often we end up needing V over C as a, a term or a factor depending on what we're doing and so if we take this thing and we put it over c the speed of light basically cancels and all we're left with is a decimal and so that's really handy for certain formulas all right so for this one the relativistic factor is represented by the greek letter gamma and so gamma is one over this big square root of one minus v squared over c squared and then what we can do, because we already know V over C, we can sort of factor in and bring the squared part up together. Um, and we essentially just plug in that decimal. So gamma is now 1 over the square root of 1 minus 0 0.385 squared. Now, depending on your calculator, you may have to work this down through stages, square it first, then do the subtraction, then do the square root, then do one and divide it by that. Or you may be able to type it all in an order. You may have to write down middle steps. It just kind of depends on your calculator. Um, hopefully, you can work that through and eventually you get 